Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. I am doing readings for this upcoming Libra season. Um, sorry, I'm trying to remember who's next. Oh, darn it. I think it's Virgo. Hi, Virgo. This is the last uh, week of your season, so happy birthday to the late uh, third de decan Virgos um, and, and the Libra Cuspers. Um, let me just start shuffling cards. I'm going to be using my Night Sun Tarot. I love this deck. It's so gorgeous. And the messages are just otherworldly in my opinion. And I don't know how to say the name of the deck maker. I think it's Fabio Lestrani, but I could be wrong. All right. What does Virgo need to know about this Libra season? If you are a Virgo rising, which means uh, Virgo is your first house. That means that Libra would fall in your second house. What does Virgo need to know for this Libra season? I'm still doing the discount readings. Five card reading for $5, 10 card reading for $10 till the 23rd. So I will put my details in the description box so you can hit me up for that. Okay, I'm feeling it. Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. <gasps> I've got your reading, I believe. Sorry, I don't know why my phone does not want to stay up right now. Could be the wind. I haven't had this problem at all until now. So, let me see. Let's see if I can... No, that's not gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna lay out the cards. Uh... Ooh, I like that card. Right there, that's a nice card. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up my, I'm just gonna pick up my phone. No point in trying to fight with it. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles as your first card. I'm noticing a crescent moon there and the glyph for Taurus. And I don't remember who else got this in their reading. Maybe it was Capricorn. Yeah, I think it was Capricorn that got this for their reading as well. So um, Saturn does turn direct in the sign of Capricorn, fellow cardinal sign. Um, you guys might want to check that out. I believe this energy will be square your sign. And, uh, yeah. 
What? Okay. I just heard, what bears fruit for you, Virgo? What will bear fruit for you? Because I'm noticing there's a piece of fruit here, okay? I'm really getting from this card, and this is not the traditional meaning. This is usually a card about keeping things fair and balanced, right? But... What's fair for you is that you go towards things that are going to be fruitful for you, right? No more going towards things that don't yield any fruit for you. Because you guys deserve to be happy as well. 555 five, five, Virgo, that's that's the number of change, okay? Change can be money for you if you pick what is fruitful for you, okay? Let it be. Let it be. Okay? Let it be fruitful for you. If it's not fruitful for you, you're not interested. And I know that sounds really cutthroat, but sometimes that's the way you gotta be. And that can apply to any kind of situation at all. Um, here we have the Page of Swords. Look at this cute little innocent guy who's still sucking on his fingers. Oh my gosh, isn't he darling? Let me try to... Look at him. He's so cute. He, she, doesn't matter, right? Gender irrelevant and sign irrelevant, but this is an air card. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be you guys feeling like you're coming into a fresh start in life, okay? Um, pages can also be messages, so you guys could be expecting some sort of message to come in, some sort of news, um, and I think it's going to be good news. I think it, I think it will be good news as long as you are focused and driven towards things that work for you, okay? If it doesn't work for you, if it's just a waste of your time and effort, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Put yourself first. It's time. Okay? And the reason why I'm being extra hard on you guys is because I'm a Pisces and you guys are my opposite sign. And that means you're my family, alright? And Virgo and Pisces can be the ones that sacrifice too much for others. Sure, we are the sign, signs of service. But that doesn't mean we have to self-sacrifice, right? You know, and some of you could be waiting on good news from an air sign, possibly. That's what I'm getting, okay? So, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We have Nine of Cups. This is such a gorgeous card. Oh my gosh. I wish I could read what the inscriptions say right here. And if anybody watching this can, let me know. I'm going to focus on it temporarily. Okay. Um, we have the glyph for Jupiter and the glyph for Pisces, your opposite sign, so I'm really not surprised you pulled this card. But yeah, this is, this means you are so close to what it is that you want, Virgo, okay? There's just one cup missing from the Nine of Cups, and you may not even feel that it's missing, or you might, okay? It just depends on your perspective, really, but one way to... To not feel that lack is to not focus on it, right? So instead of intently focusing on the lack, the lack of that tenth cup, start counting all these cups as your blessings, okay? Start focusing on the blessings that you do have, the things that are fruitful, the things that make you happy, in this existence because then that 10 cup will just fall that 10th cup sorry will just fall right into place for you all 
All right. And the last card is good news. Good news. Seven. No, sorry, not seven. My bad. <laughs> Let me just say all the wrong things, okay? Um, eight of wands. Okay. This is usually about a bunch of messages coming in. And what I'm getting from this is that it's been a long time coming for you. All right. It's been a long journey. And you've done, you've done your rounds. Okay. You've done your rounds. We've got Mercury and Sagittarius. And both Pisces and Sagittarius are Jupiter ruled. Pisces is co-ruled by Jupiter. So yeah, this means that you guys are coming into a span of being fortunate, hearing good news, Mercury, good news, okay? And maybe you might hear this good news from a fire sign, who knows? Maybe maybe you will, maybe you won't, but it's going to it's going to really reignite your passion. Okay? It's going to make you feel like you can keep continuing to carry on because you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. All right. I'm getting that that's the reading. As always, Virgo, I am wishing you guys the very best. I think you guys are amazing people. And uh, keep up the good work. I will talk to you later. Bye.